Hello everyone and welcome to Jacklit Educational Channel. In this part of the video, we will discuss about different mechanism of photosynthesis carried out in different plants. So this is very important as per as any competitive exam is concerned. So let's begin the video. So we all know what is photosynthesis. Yes, from school days we have learned what is photosynthesis. We will just have a brief idea in this video. So photosynthesis is the process by which plants, some bacteria and some protistans use the energy from sunlight to produce glucose. So why this glucose is needed? Because it gives the energy to the plant bodies. So what happens when this carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere and water present in the atmosphere, they are combined chemically by using the energy from sunlight in the plants, protist and bacteria, they produce this glucose. So what happens? Then what happens? Cellular respiration takes place. So in this process what happens the glucose is then converted into pyruvate during this conversion it releases adenosine triphosphate yes which is called as ATP that is the energy currency of any cell. So that's all in the brief part of photosynthesis. Now we will see what are the different kinds of mechanism present in different plants to do this work of photosynthesis. So let's check it out. So basically we know there are three important kinds of photosynthetic pathways. They are number one C3 cycle, C4 cycle and CAM cycle. We can say cycle or pathways. So we will learn one by one and the best thing is if we are comparing each of them at a time then we will be able to know what are the difference between C3, C4 and CAM pathway. So don't worry we will just discuss what is important for our entrance point of view. So, ये है वो comparative type of study जिससे कि हम जानेंगे C3, C4 और CAM के बारे में बहुत ही आसानी से. So, the first difference is in C3, why it is called as C3 plants or C3 photosynthesis? Because in this kind of step, the first table product is a 3 carbon compound. Yes, that 3 carbon compound is phosphoglyceric acid. Whereas in the C4 mechanism or C4 pathway, the first table product is a 4 carbon compound that's why it is called as C4 and that 4 carbon compound is oxaloacetic acid. So ye aapko yaad rakhna because it is important so sometime it is asked which is the first table product of C3 or C4. But whereas in case of CAM the full form is Crassulation Acid Metabolism. So this kind of pathway is a special kind of mechanism which we will learn in the further slides. The next important thing is most of the plants, almost 85 percent जो plants पाए जाते हैं, they have C3 mechanism. तो उनके पास C3 mechanisms होते हैं. So कुछ examples हम लेंगे. For as wheat, rice, cotton and rye are the example of C3 plants. Those who are going through C3 pathway of photosynthesis. लेकिन some plants, those who are having C4 pathways, the examples are millets, tropical grasses, sorghum corn and sugarcane whereas the cam plants are mostly succulents plants such as pineapple and agave so this time a question came to the net exam mein, ki the options were there find which one of them is not a C4 plants so if you know which are C3 C4 plants then you will be easily able to identify which is not the third point of difference is in C3 plants the first carbon in Kelvin cycle is fixed. So in Kelvin cycle the carbon is fixed. So that we are not discussing what is Kelvin cycle and all. So the first time जो पहली बार carbon dioxide attach होता है वो RUBP में attach होता है. तो RUBP what is the full form? The full form is ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate. So that is the enzyme in which initially the carbon dioxide is attached in C3 cycle. But C4 में क्या होता है? It attaches to the PEP. So this is the difference. The PEP is phosphoenol pyruvate is the first enzyme to which the carbon dioxide is attached in the cytoplasm of C4 plants. And next thing is in CAM the carbon fixation happens only at night time. So that's it is important because to avoid the water loss. So what happens is next coming to our fourth point the water loss through photorespiration is seen in case of C3 plants. Yes, photorespiration is a process. Photorespiration ka matlab kya hai? Respiration we all know. Taking oxygen, that is inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. 
So when this process happens in the presence of photo, that is light, that is daytime, it is called as photorespiration. So it is the step in which water loss is most as compared to C4 and CAM, that is Crassulation Acid Metabolism Plants. So least water is lost in case of CAM plants and less water is lost in C4 plants, maximum water is lost in C3 kind of plants. So let's move to our next slide. So here the next thing is the enzyme involved in the C3 pathway which is Rubisco as we know RUBP is the first compound in which carbon dioxide is attached. So this enzyme Rubisco helps in it is attachment. But in C4 cycle the enzyme which is used to attach the carbon dioxide to the PEP that is phosphoenol pyruvate is PEP is yes. But in case of CAM the same enzyme is seen that is PEP is. So we have to remember PEP is in dono mein hai, that is C4 and CAM but Rubisco is the difference in C3. Next thing is we have talked about photorespiration. So the photorespiration rate is very high in C3 plants and in C4 plants no photorespiration is seen or if it is seen then it is present in very little amount. The major difference in the anatomy of the C3 plants have they don't have any specialized kind of anatomy in leaves. But in C4 plants that is Crans anatomy is seen. So that's why they are special and they are seen in warm season. So they are C4 are warm season plants whereas C3 are cool season plants. The next difference between C3 and C4 plants is the C3 plants can perform photosynthesis only when the stomata are open. Yes, but the C4 plants can do photosynthesis even the where condition where stomata is closed. So these images will make you understand more easily that what are the difference. So what happens in C3 plants the carbon dioxide first enters the mesophyll cell where the C3 Kelvin cycle takes place. After that glucose is formed which is giving energy to the plants. But in C4 plants the carbon dioxide enters the mesophyll cell and first happens is C4 cycle. So C4 cycle hone ke baad the product is CO2 which again enters the C3 cycle which happens in bundle seed cell. It is not that bundle seed cells are only present in C4 plants. In C3 also bundle seed cells are present. But in C4 plants these bundle seed cell have chloroplast in it. So that's why they are specialized. So their final product is also C6H2LO6 that is glucose. But in CAM there is a special technique. What is that? The mesophyll cell, in mesophyll cell the carbon dioxide here goes to the C4 cycle during the night time because to save the water loss and in day time the C3 cycle takes place in the same mesophyll cell. So that's the difference in the same mesophyll cell at night time C4 happens, in day time C3 happens in case of CAM mechanism. So these were some of the basic difference and from here only you will get the questions in NET environmental science examination. No need to go for any further details but if you want more explanation comment me in the comment section.